Indavs, the powerful protagonists, those who possess knowledge, firmly believe that the universe is deterministic. There is no free will, there are no choices, there are no options. Everything in the universe is governed by cause and effect. The idea of determinism was formulated by French philosopher Laplace in his 1814 thought experiment famously known as Laplace's demon. Although Laplace himself never used the term demon, he went for something more akin to erudite or intellectual. But the thought experiment would go on to be known and famous as Laplace's demon. What he argues that the universe is deterministic and that it is governed by causality and causality alone. And he says that if you can gather enough information about any element in the universe, together with forces that set things into motion, and if you could analyse all this information, you would know exactly the past of this element and you would predict its future with immaculate precision. Let's take another example and say, you use a bow to shoot an arrow into the sky. Take this arrow at any given point. If you can gather enough information about this arrow, information like what it is made of, how long it is, uh, what sort of bow you use to shoot the arrow, information about the atmosphere like temperature, humidity, wind, and if you could analyse and process all this information, maybe using a very powerful computer, you would know the history of this arrow, meaning its past, and you would know its future, how it will behave and how it will be in the future. In this example, the arrow symbolises life, my life, your life, the life of a tree, the life of a mountain, the life of a river, anything. If you take anything in the universe, if you can gather enough information about it, and if you could process this information, you would know without any error its past and you would predict its future. This is a strange idea because it nullifies many concepts like free will and justice and responsibility. You look at how societies try to catch criminals and to punish them for their crimes. But if you think that those criminals did not have a choice, they were made and destined to commit those crimes, then you do not have any rights to judge them or punish them. There is further science that substantiates that. Neuroscientist James Fallon devoted 20 years of his life to studying brains of murderers. And he found out that most murderers had something in common. Most of them had very low orbital cortex activity. This further shows that those criminals were wired to commit those crimes. There isn't a point at which those criminals were faced with two options and could have chosen not to commit the crime. They were destined to commit those crimes and they did. Based on that, society does not have any rights to judge them or to punish them. This is a determinism. The one thing that is very hard to combine with determinism is quantum mechanics, because in quantum mechanics there are superpositions and probability states and the uncertainty principle and things are moving everywhere all the time. This is why it is very hard to combine determinism and quantum mechanics, but the show devs manages to brilliantly marry those two ideas, and this is what we're going to see in future videos. This one has reached its end, if you like to thumb it up, you might want to subscribe to the channel. If you didn't like it, thumb it down, what do you think matters? And until we meet again, have a great day!